Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam. I'm going to do a general reading for all horoscope signs based on the new moon energies. Just had a new moon yesterday on April 11th, but this is a timeless reading whenever you happen across the video. I do believe there will be a message or two that is meant for you. So first, we're going to get a card from my own Moonbeam Magic Oracle card deck. I created 46 different cards with paintings that I did by hand. And I also created a guidebook that has card descriptions as well as affirmations. So, the card that we get for the overall energy is the Yin Yang card. This is a card all about balance, and it's a reminder to focus on your breath, especially during times when you feel very challenged by the changes in your life. Conscious breathing helps you to focus on grounding, and it will help you achieve the balance that is necessary to continue to navigate your spiritual path. The affirmation on this card is, I will be mindful of the changes in my life. When I find balance, I will blossom like a flower. Okay, now I'm going to pick a few Lenormand cards, just for a very brief reading. If you'd ever like to get a private reading from me, please send me a message at sapphiremoonbeam.com. We can discuss how to do that. I do love reading with Lenormand cards. There are fewer cards in the in the deck, and for whatever reason, they seem to speak to me a bit more than traditional tarot. It's a little bit more like fortune telling. So the new moon energies and the next few weeks here in March are about the beginning of something new. And this is a time to Use your imagination, be playful, and remember to dream about what you'd like to see unfold in your life. This next card is the birds. The birds are about communication. And in this version of the birds card, you need to try to remember that communication will help you be on the same page with someone else in your life. The garden card is about getting out more and getting out and about, doing some networking, really connecting more with nature. That nature connection will also help with the balance and the grounding. I'm gonna pick a card for the child from another Lenormand deck. And we get the tower. The tower in, on this version of the tower card it looks like you're not sure about how to get out of a situation that you're in. You feel isolated, you feel trapped, and the door um, has those stairs that are falling apart and crumbling, so it doesn't look like there's an easy way out. Try to remember to be playful when you can, if it's possible. Do things that bring you joy and fun and help inspire your imagination. I'm going to pick a card for the birds. And we get the stars. The communi communication along with the stars is about really putting yourself out there and communicating what you want so that you can be led closer and closer to the path of, of your dreams. That's the wish upon the star card. And Getting out and about in nature may have you a little bit um, <laughs> discombobulated. The rider brings fast approaching good news. But in this version of the rider card, um, the rider is not facing the same direction as the horse. Um, I feel like that's it's a playful energy. And um, I'm also seeing the whole don't look back because if you continue to look back into your past, you're not going to very easily move forward. And um, that also kind of reminds me of that first card. 
If you're not facing the same direction as the horse, you may have trouble with balance. Um, let me pick another card or two here real quick. I try not to make these videos very long. I know everyone's busy running around. Uh, I'm gonna pick another card for the tower. And the, the person in the tower could be a lady or it could be a lady in your life. I would say to reach out to others and definitely communicate how you're feeling if you feel trapped in that tower. That's going to help. I'm gonna pick a card for the rider. First we get the moon, and then we get the dog. So the moon is telling you to um, definitely concentrate and focus on your intuition. Trust your own inner guidance. Pay attention to dream time. And there will be a way to um, have loyalty in your life if you don't feel like you have that now. And this is also another playful, um, you know, friendship, uh, companionship vibe with the dog. I'm gonna pick um, one card here for love from a love oracle deck. It's important right now to take a step back and spend time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So that's really in alignment with everything else. Um, do your best to appreciate the alone time instead of feeling trapped. Use this time to dream. Use this time to transform. Use this time to help manifest what you'd like to see come into existence regarding what you dream about. Thank you for watching. I hope that this inspired you and brought you some hope. There are links in the description of the video if you'd like to buy my Oracle deck or find out all the places to follow me on social media. I wish you peace. I wish you love. I wish you blessings. Be well.